Welcome back again today, friends. Today, I am doing something I haven't shared in a long time. I am doing a large family clothing haul. We have eight children out and about, seven still at home, so seven that I'm still buying clothes for. And of course, baby number nine is due in spring 2021. So today, I'm gonna show you everything I hunted and gathered, I guess you can say, for new fall and winter clothing. Thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Use my code LFTABLE80 to get a total of $80 off, including free shipping on your first box with purchase. Go to HelloFresh.com to redeem and for more details. Well, friends, we are back from all of that shopping. I have a table full of shoes. You see what I did? You see what happened is <laughs> when I got home from shopping the other day, uh, because I like to do what I want, I just let all my bags sit here by the French doors. And now today, after I am rested and fresh, I am going to show you every single thing we got in this large family clothing haul. I went shopping for fresh clothes for my family of 10, now nine, still at home full time. And baby number nine come in spring 2021, yay. Baby stuff's gonna be in another video, so look for that, because I've already been getting some baby stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna show you all these shoes and tell you about the fantastic one and three dollar shoe deal. Mm-hmm, okay, let's, let's start with shoes. What? What kind of world is this? Why would any family need this many shoes? Okay, good question, let me tell you. We've got 18 feet in this house, <laughs> and everybody always needs a pair of play shoes and a pair of going out shoes. So that's at least uh, 36 individual shoes, 18 pairs of shoes that our family needs at any given time. Some of these shoes I got shopping the other day for this haul, but a bunch of them I've been saving to show you. I went into Walmart earlier this summer. It was like middle of June. And this one Walmart I was in had a lot of kids shoes marked down for $1 to $3. And I have so many kids and the kids keep coming. We, again, we always need shoes. So what I tried to do was first off, get shoes for each kid. Then I also tried to get upcoming sizes, if that makes sense. There were tons of shoes there. I think what it was, uh, I don't know. I try to guess like, why are they having this sale on shoes in mid-June? I don't know, maybe there were less people purchasing shoes. Uh, kids were home for summer and you know, worldwide crisis and all that. I don't know exactly, but I took advantage of it for my family. So like this whole little collection here is for upcoming fall and winter, we'll say, like going out shoes and play shoes for Daniel and then a pair in an upcoming size. This is Benjamin's collection. Actually, this pair, he's got a black pair now that he was wearing outside a lot. And then this pair was a dollar. I got this yesterday. Actually, when I went grocery shopping, totally different haul, but you can follow me. And then again, right now, Benjamin's about a 10 to 11-ish. So like here's a pair of 10s that he'll wear this fall. Here's 11 upcoming, there's a size 11. These Mickey Mouse are 12s, and then these are 12s. So again, some shoes for this fall and winter, you know that's over five to six months, and then a pair for him to grow into. Because again, a one to three dollar deal, okay, sure. And even like these shoes are regularly $14.97. So again, it was a fantastic deal. Now for Amelia, I know like 20 comments are gonna be, what about Amelia's shoes? Amelia always ends up with more shoes than anybody else in the family. <laughs> and even I've been looking at other shoes for her recently, but I knew I had gotten her some on sale. So both of these pair of tennis shoes, this will be just for this fall, like play and going out. And then these two are upcoming sizes. And honestly, these will go either the boys or the girls, whoever gets into a four and then a five. But again, for a buck, and I think, None of these had the discount tags on them. Yeah, $9.98. So whenever I found this deal, it said clearance and they had the sign above the shoes. And I always get leery of if I get things with regular price price tags and I get up there, what if the sale doesn't show up to them? Uh, you know, odd things happen at the register. So I always take pictures of those sale signs. So 
everything worked out. I still got my $3 shoe deal. And then for Naomi, got a pair of tennis shoes. And then these can be, you know, she's a teenager anyway. She wants to do it with shoes. Then there's another pair of tennis shoes for Zion. Oh, back on Amelia. Girlfriend, as I said, has a ton of shoes. And I know she'll be getting more. And also in her size, those were the only pairs I was able to grab for her. They just didn't have that much available. So I'll get her five more pair. She will be okay. Then for Gabriel and Liam, and then of course the other one must have fallen out in the basement. But again, as an example, we could have uh, play shoes for both boys, going out shoes for both boys, and then another pair maybe they'll be into by spring. Zion and I got these yesterday. He went grocery shopping with me, which a large family grocery shopping haul will be another video. He needed a pair of just work boots, mud boots, etc. I got these mud boots as farming boots for some of us who needed them. And actually, I just remembered Daniel and Benjamin's are still in the bag, so I will go grab those as well. Amelia has a pair of unicorn mud boots already. I got those on sale for like three bucks earlier in the summer. And then Zion wanted, instead of these slip-on mud boots, he wanted just like traditional work boots. So he tried those on yesterday. So here's the shoe haul, and I'll show you Daniel and Benjamin's too. These are gonna be Daniel's little mud boots. And you see, 1787 these have the tag on them they were marked down for three dollars super cute benjamin has pulled them out of my filming pile and worn them several times they did not have any in benny's size he got a little navy blue pair can't find those yet but i will here in a minute when i'm talking about shirts or socks i will then pull out benjamin's boots for you so all those shoes aren't going to be put out at one time like right now i just gave everybody one new pair of going out shoes in their shoe boxes. They've got enough grubby leftover summer shoes and we still are having pretty much summer weather here in Virginia and will for about the next four to five weeks or so. So play shoes, they're fine. They've got their new going out shoes and then probably come, and kids are just hard on shoes. And these are shoes that mama got on sale for $3. But even still, replacing shoes every, I don't know, three months or so, um, the, the nice going out shoes will then become the play shoes. Then they'll get another pair of going out shoes. You got that cycle? So it takes a lot of shoes when you have 18 feet, getting ready to be 20 feet again, that need shoes all day every day for different reasons, and living in the country and living on a farm. Our mud boots will definitely help out though, especially as we get into colder weather. And then there'll be snow boots just shoes for everything. So yay, we got them and mama got a bunch of them on sale. I will say that those mud boots were not on sale. They were about $20 each, but we'll get several years out of those. I mean, those just like regular rubber boots, of course you gotta wear socks with them and those we should be able to pass on for different sizes as needed. So I was thinking through the best way to do this cause I got a lot of kids and it's a lot of clothes. So I'm taking it kid by kid. Some of our kiddos have hand-me-downs from close and age siblings. Our girls, for example, though, have six years in between them. So a lot of Naomi's clothes, as she has grown out of them over the years, I have not saved for Amelia because again, six years age difference. And I never had a full basement and that kind of storage before. So what I have done is pass them on to good friends of mine who have girls closer or at least in between their ages there so that they could take advantage of Naomi's clothes instead of just holding them in storage all of those years. So for Amelia and Naomi, they always get all, all new clothes unless we match up with a friend, some seasons we've had, who's been able to hand down a lot of hand-me-downs to us. Okay, so Amelia, age seven, heading towards eight, here we go with her clothes. And I mean, girls just need stuff, right? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm, yes they do. So both of these pair of jeggings I had got her, actually whenever I hit that one, in, one to three dollar shoe sale earlier in the summer, they were five bucks. Not the best price necessarily, but they were cute. And again, she can wear these under dresses and such. This cute little skirt we got here, five dollars. And then I got these leggings. Really fun blue color, really fun pink color, again, to go under something like this, and also, depending on the weather, to go under different dresses and such. Uh, we've got some new jammies, sleepover party, and then this is a mermaid set, and it's got pants with it as well. 
Then she got three new pairs of jeans. She is just growing, growing, growing. She is a tall girl. It's just hard to find stuff to fit her frog legs <laughs> right now. Um, also got her three just cute little shirts. Let's see, sometimes these push in different directions. Oh, it does, yeah, there you go. I like that. It's therapeutic, I like playing with it. So three fresh shirts. This Elsa dress, Naomi and I talked about it and we're like, obviously, there's no way. No way this thing is staying white <laughs> and, and uh, perfect looking. However, I'm all about my kids just enjoying it, enjoying their things, enjoying their blessings and being kids in the process. So this dress was a whole $14.96. Amelia's gonna wear it. What's gonna happen to it is whatever will happen to it, but she will have joy in her heart wearing that dress and that's what matters. Then these are some cute, fresh church dresses. You know, I always love this yellow and this jean with the belt, super cute. These were, let's see here, $11.88 each. And then this is actually a short sleeve dress, but it came with this cute corduroy jacket. So again, really cute. These dresses, super affordable. I got the three different patterns they had in her size. They are long sleeve and I think they were, yeah, they were $6.44 each. Got her three of those and then I got two poofy and fluffy and comfy cozy sweatshirts. We got a silver and we got a pink. These were $15 each. And then here we got Miss Naomi's clothing haul. She went clothes shopping with me and got to pick out all her stuff. So, and so much of this I love to see because I'm a 90s girl and I'm like, this could have been the same closet. <laughs> um, so these knit shirts were marked down to $5 each. So she got three of them. She knows the fashion trick now, how so many of us are. I'm like this. If you, if you like one, you really need three like it, right? Different colors. Um, then this is just a button up shirt cute Looney Tunes shirt, and then yes, the flannel hoodies. So she got these three in the colors that she likes. Three new pairs of pants. She actually got some more pants midsummer, and so did Gabriel. So they didn't need too many. At least that's what I think right now. Another tank top. This is a tie-dye sweatshirt from the men's section, because you know you can find comfy stuff there. And you know I really love this uh, gold sweater. And then, yep more shoes. These are some really pretty burgundy boots. So this is the Naomi clothing haul for this fall. Thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Use my code LFTABLE80 to get a total of $80 off, including free shipping on your first box with purchase. Go to HelloFresh.com to redeem and for more details. HelloFresh offers so many recipes to choose from each week to help you break out of your recipe rut. There's something for everyone, including low-calorie, vegetarian, and family-friendly recipes every week. HelloFresh cuts out stressful meal planning and prepping, so you can enjoy cooking and get dinner on the table in just about 30 minutes, or even 20 minutes with their quick and easy options. Add extra dinners or lunches to your weekly order, throw in extra portions, or add in yummy meal condiments like HelloFresh's best-selling garlic bread. My family always enjoys the special spaghetti that HelloFresh sends. And the kids always call our special HelloFresh boxes our fancy food. Remember to use code LFTABLE80 to get $80 off with purchase, including free shipping on your first box. Go to HelloFresh.com for more details. Just click that first link in the description below. Okay, now laugh with me. Can we just take a moment to appreciate the Sensible Man Collection? This is Zion's Sensible Man Collection, Sensible Choices. About hmm, three weeks ago, just like I say, I've had three different kids that have needed new pants this summer. A couple weeks ago, I took him in as well and he got all new pants. And at that time, he also picked out three to four new short sleeve dress shirts. He has some sweatshirts and other things. So this is all I said, get what you want. There's the men's section and these were his sensible choices. So yay for a sensible man. And he also got those boots I showed you with all the shoes.
I found them. Here are Benjamin's mud boots, rain boots for this fall. Okay, so here are nine and a half year old and 11 year old boy clothes. So Gabriel was the other one this summer who really needed some new pants. There's not pants for him in this haul. Usually what happens, you know, I've had three sets of boys close in age. And so we get into big seasons, years and years, where they share a wardrobe. And then we get into these one has a growth spurt before the other one type seasons. And then we might have a year or so where there's different things like pants that don't match up. So right now Gabriel's in like a size 18. And Liam, I got him size 12, but he was just in here and looked at these for me. And he said his 10 12s actually are tight on him now. So I was telling him, well, okay, we will just double check and try these on. So I'm gonna have to take these six pairs back and get them in probably 14, 16 for him. It's hard to keep up with <laughs> whenever these kids get growing like that. So I got him two pair of camos. I knew he would like that. He was excited to see them. Two pairs of blue jeans, two pairs of black denim jeans. He likes doing stuff like wearing suspenders and bow ties. So I got these for him. Yeah, I don't know what age this is for whenever I bought them. So maybe he can just try them on and we'll see. But it was with um, big kids hats and such. So I thought it was worth a shot. Anyway, got both of the boys a fall sweatshirt. These were $15.77 each. Got them both in the 14.16 size. Cause Gabriel's tall, but this size 14.16 fits him well for shirts and such. It's just, again, long, tall frog legs. These are just the t-shirt material, solid color and long sleeves, $3.98 each. Got them each two long sleeve dress shirts. I feel like they need at least two more and I might get them when I go back for that jean return. Thank you, Jesus. We got a Walmart close now. <laughs> um, and then felt like I got the only options that they really had available uh, in like the printed long sleeve tees. So we got a dinosaur one, Game Over, Spider-Man and Batman. So this is the uh, up and coming big boy haul. So then here are the little boys clothing haul and both Benjamin and Daniel. Benjamin is three and Daniel is five and a half. And they're both pretty close to the same size. This is an example of they should be, they'll be able to share all of this. I got everything in five T sizes. Benjamin is stocky and Daniel is long and lean. So anyway, this should work for both of them for this winter. So I got, there's five of these cheaper $4.50 sweatshirts. There was actually, there's a six one, but I somehow, my eyes got crossed and I picked it up in 2T. So I have that with Liam's jeans to take back and I'll get them a six one. But this one says, my mom rocks. And that's just a lightning bolt design, wild one, some dinosaurs. And that says roar. I like their um, little bit higher end clothes also at Walmart that they have. These sweatshirts are $12.98, but this will be like going out on a field trip type sweatshirts. Um, these are also cute with the goggles. And then this one has the uh, dino hood there. And then they got five of the long sleeve sweatshirts with superhero, totally awesome, a dinosaur on a mission. And that was a dinosaur sunglasses. Then I got them two pairs of jeans. I don't usually end up putting my younger kiddos in jeans a lot. Uh, they do a lot of sweat pants and these athletic pants and then those softer pants. But I picked them up two pairs. So this is the whole haul for Daniel and Benjamin to have a good old time with this fall and this winter. Now, pregnancy update always. I'm definitely reminded how quickly I get tired. <laughs> so, okay, all of this on my couch over there. I'm gonna film a separate first trimester pregnancy update for you and show you the new maternity clothes I got and the baby things I already got because I just can't wait. It's worth it, it's worth it being tired. It's, I just gotta sit a little bit, take a little extra nap. It's all good. So, that is it 
for our large family clothing haul for fall and winter. Now I'll probably need to pick up some extra gloves. I think we're good on hats. As far as like real winter stuff, our winters in Virginia are so funny. I mean, one year could be several feet of snow. Of course, it's been over 10 years since we've had a winter like that, but we can have some pretty wild winters and we have pretty mild winters. It's not consistent, we don't know. The last two to three years, I've been going through getting fresh jackets and such as needed. Really like to get those as, at Costco. I think we're good on jackets except for Zion. I'm pretty sure he needs a new like going out jacket. One thing also since we're farm folk and country folk is the kids have play jackets and then they have going out jackets. Same thing with the shoes. So for nine folks in the house right now, you know it's a whole lot of jackets. We do have a nice big closet here at this house so I appreciate that closet. The jackets are not unpacked yet. So with my jacket plan, since jackets and winter things are not unpacked, I've talked about the things that still need unpacked. The biggest thing that needs unpacked is my book collection, but we're not getting to that yet. And then I know we definitely still have some winter things. So right now while I'm filming this second week in September, I will probably not even get to going through processing our winter wear until October-ish and then I'll really be able to see what we need. Right now I feel like we're good on jackets, but we'll see. So be looking for real soon, baby stuff haul. That's always fun. Lots of other fun things coming at you. Hope you're enjoying all the videos and I will talk to you in those comments below. Remember to use code LFTABLE80 to get $80 off with purchase, including free shipping on your first box. Go to HelloFresh.com for more details. Just click that first link in the description below.